For years, large and heavy constructions like this steam dredger were towed over the seven seas. Weissmuller was one of the leading companies in this field of transportation. Weissmuller tugs covered millions of miles, towing a wide variety of objects. With so much experience, Weissmuller knew all about the weak link in this method of transportation, the towage connection. The risk of a tow line parting is considerable. This can result in the stranding and damage or even loss of valuable cargo, causing in turn damages and losses to the project. Being true professionals, Weissmuller experts worked out a unique alternative which opened up a wealth of possibilities. Weissmuller know-how was put to use to develop a specialized transportation unit the self-propelled, semi-submersible heavy lift vessel. Now, instead of towing, the biggest, heaviest, and often most expensive constructions can be carried safely to their destinations all over the world. This transportation method is not only faster, but safer and more economic. This tremendous area, 5,600 square meters, that's about the size of a football pitch, can be filled with a big, awkward, heavy cargo. And these semi-submersible ships can lift as much as 25,000 tons out of the water. The new class of vessels, first introduced in 1979, immediately proved a great success. This unique fleet, in combination with dedicated crews and experienced staff, has led to an impressive track record in heavy lift transportation. Weissmuller Transport owns a fleet of eight semi-submersible heavy lift vessels of the Super Servant and Mighty Servant class and has the commercial and operational management of a number of other heavy lift vessels. A familiar scene for many of us. Filling up our cars with more or less expensive petrol is almost a daily routine. But although we all know how to get the petrol into our cars, most of us know relatively little about the equipment needed to get the crude oil that petrol's made from out of the ground. All over the world, these enormous constructions, drilling rigs and production platforms are used to obtain oil from deep under the ocean beds. Did you know that such a rig could weigh up to 24,000 tons and the legs can be as long as 170 meters? At first sight, a construction like this looks impossible to move but it must have got here somehow. Since Weissmuller Transport entered the heavy lift transportation industry, its fleet has transported a great variety of jack-up and semi-submersible rigs. The submerging capabilities of the servants make them eminently suitable to load such heavy cargoes by the float-on method. Because of the ongoing scaling up of this market segment, new records are continuously being set and broken again by Weissmuller Transport. Today, Weissmuller Transport is the world leader in rig transportation, having transported more and heavier rigs around the world than any other operator. But also, modules for big offshore structures are moved, like these middle column sections for a tension leg platform. Sometimes ingenious solutions are necessary to make transportation possible. These are devised by innovative Weissmuller engineers who have even worked out structural adaptions to accommodate these special and unusual cargoes. In order to load these columns, one of the buoyancy casings aft has been removed temporarily to create enough clearance to load the columns over the stern. Other loading options were not available. On completion of the loadout, the casing will be reinstalled. The columns, built in Italy and destined for Norway, are loaded by means of low-bed trailers which roll the heavy cargo, weighing in total 2,500 tonnes on board. 
a very precise operation. Coming up, uh, we are loading a heavy pack, 2,500 tons, and we have to compensate for the weight with the ballast water we have in the ship. So once the load is rolling on the ship on this side, we have to pump out about 2,500 tons on this side and compensate for that on this side. Afterwards, when she's rolling over the ship, we have to lift the ship on this part and we have to lower the ship on that part to keep the ship on an even keel. Once all the three columns are aboard and are sea fastened, the super servant heads for Norway, where the TLP will be assembled. The TLP is partly built by Norwegian contractors who have subcontracted an Italian yard for the construction of three of the four columns. For the completion of the TLP, the super servant of Weismuller Transport plays a significant role. This vessel will ensure that the column sections arrive in time at the assembly yard over 2,000 miles away. With the Weismuller Transport fleet, it is possible to involve several yards in large construction projects. This ensures the most efficient construction of heavy and big structures, taking costs and time into consideration. In Norway, the columns are unloaded by floating shear leg cranes, which lift them off their carrier onto the base of the TLP. In the heat of Jebel Ali, preparations are being made on deck of the Mighty Servant 2 to load two jackets and a great number of piles for the Congolese Yombo field. Specially designed steel supports for the jackets are welded on deck in between which the piles will be stored. Link beams are installed on the jackets for the loadout operation. The jackets, weighing 1,000 tons each, are loaded by means of the lift-on method, a precision operation because there is little room for maneuvering. The second jacket is in the sling, ready for positioning. Immediately after both jackets are loaded, welders come into action to place the sea fastenings which secure the cargo on the deck. The voyage from Jebel Ali to the west coast of Africa rounds Cape of Good Hope. The excellent stability and seakeeping characteristics of the mighty servant mean that acceleration forces on this cargo are reduced to the minimum. Once in the field where the jackets will be installed, 50 miles west of Pointe Noire, careful positioning of the vessel is required because of the many other activities in the area. The crane vessel Polaris is moored alongside the servant to lift off the two jackets. The work continues 24 hours a day, even in the dark. There's not a moment to waste. The first jacket is lifted off safely and lowered onto the ocean bed. Next, the piles are unloaded, securing the first jacket on the sea bottom. The second jacket undergoes the same operation. Det 
Matt Millen, Royal Dillon, we start to pull on the course of 90 degrees. After the unloading and installation of the two jackets, another vessel of the Weissmuller transport fleet, the Super Servant 3, delivers two platforms built in the United States of America. Operating an extensive fleet enables Weissmuller transport to deploy more vessels for one project. In this case, the Mighty Servant 2 and Super Servant 3. The platforms will be lifted onto the newly installed jackets. For Weissmuller, this job is now finished. The two production platforms have been delivered. Jackets can be loaded by various already successfully applied methods. Lift on, roll on and skid on. The latter is used to load a 7,300 ton riser jacket in Korea for BP. The specially designed skid beams owned and supplied by Weissmuller Transport ensure an efficient loadout operation. The destination of this jacket is Europe. It is the first structure of this size completely fabricated in Korea to be deployed on the North Sea. There, Hiramax crane vessel, the DB-102, will install the jacket and later on also the platform. These huge container cranes each unload 40 units every hour. And because these fragile structures don't grow on site either, it's a delicate task getting them here. A task Weissmuller Transport can cope with. How to get a huge crane from the construction yard to the port of operation, sometimes thousands of miles away, was a serious problem faced by crane builders and buyers. In the past, it was necessary to re-erect the cranes at or near the port of destination after having them transported in knockdown components. Today, Weissmuller Transport Super and Mighty Servant class carriers offer a practical solution to overcome the logistical difficulties of crane transportation. Transportation of cranes in their fully erected position. Now the crane can be completely constructed and tested at the yard where all the expertise and equipment necessary is available and then be rolled aboard and delivered to any port in the world without blocking the terminal for a considerable period of time. With the expertise built up over the years, Weissmuller has optimized its services to the crane industry. Standard equipment like portable rails, link beams and sea fastening boxes have been designed to ensure efficient loading and transport operations. All over the world, harbors are an important link in the international flow of goods. Dredging companies are needed everywhere to ensure that waterways are navigable. Their materials also carried aboard Weissmuller Transport's heavy lift vessels.
The transportation of dredging equipment has been an important part of Weissmuller Transport's business since the introduction of dry, self-propelled transportation in the late 70s. The company has gained invaluable know-how in this field. On the large, unobstructed deck space of the servant vessels, a lot of equipment can be stowed. Transportation of dredging equipment often involves moving many components other than the dredger itself. Accommodation pontoons, power barges, anchor barges, pump shells, floaters, buoys, and piping may be included in the total cargo package to be transported. Weismuller Transport makes it possible to carry all the required dredging equipment aboard one of the transportation units of its fleet in one voyage. Did you know that the Navy don't always sail their own vessels? Yes, even the Navy can use a helping hand. Sometimes it can be quicker and more economic to ask Weismuller to deliver your ships to their destination than to have them go under their own steam. In order to spare their craft the wear and tear of long ocean voyages, the military sea lift command of the US Navy has contracted Weismuller Transport several times for its rather unusual ship delivery service. The unique submerging capabilities of the super and mighty servants make them eminently suitable to load floating cargoes. Here, the Super Servant 3 loads three minesweepers for transportation from the Middle East to the west coast of the USA. The three units are loaded by the float-on method. After tugs have towed them over the submerged deck of their carrier, the crew use the winches of the servant to bring the vessels into their exact position above the deck. When all the minesweepers are positioned, the carrier is de-ballasted. The small vessels are lifted out of the water and are safely brought to their destination. For the demobilization of the American frigate Samuel B. Roberts, special preparations are necessary in the deck of its carrier, Mighty Servant II. This transportation requires special engineering because of the shape of the frigate's keel. Among other things, the crew has to make watertight deck recesses to accommodate the protruding sonar dome, stabilizer fins, and rudder. Uh, judging from uh, my walk through the uh, deck of the Mighty Servant 2, uh, they have things well in hand. They are removing excess equipment at this time. And uh, very shortly, within approximately an hour and a half, they will be underway, uh, proceeding to a position uh, ready to load the uh, Samuel B. Roberts. The loading location is carefully determined. It's important to know the water depth because the draft of a fully submerged Mighty Servant is 22 meters. The Samuel B. Roberts is towed carefully between the casings over the deck of its carrier. The frigate had to be dry transported because of structural damage to her hull due to striking a mine. Sitting high and dry, it is clear that all the protruding parts of the frigate's hull fit perfectly in the recesses made for them. Before the ships can sail to the United States of America, the crew welds sea fastenings and roller bars to the deck. The Super and Mighty Servant class carriers can not only be utilized for transporting vessels, they are also eminently suitable to dry dock them for repairs in remote areas. Repair and maintenance can even be carried out en route during the voyage. And this type of transportation, or dry docking, is not only handy for the Navy, 
A big freighter like this looks indestructible. Naturally, she's built strongly enough to cross oceans. However, anything could happen whereby a ship of this size might not be able to cope on its own. The fact that you can also hitch a lift on the seven seas is a comforting thought. The servant's ballasting and submerging capabilities make them eminently suitable for various loading and discharging methods. Float on, float off. Roll on, roll on. Lift on, lift off. And skid on, skid off. Of course, a combination of these methods is also possible. Over the years, Weizmuller Transport has carried a wide variety of heavy floating and non-floating cargoes, as well as rigs, offshore structures, fully erected cranes, dredging equipment, and even ships. The company has also transported such equipment as dry docks, floating plants, floating hotels and prisons, and onshore constructions. But not only heavy and big equipment is transported by Weizmuller, also fragile luxury yachts have found a place aboard. In 1991, the Super Servant 6 was converted into a dock-type vessel in order to provide the best purpose-made yacht carrier. For the yacht owner, it is now possible to enjoy the comfort of their craft in most exotic or distant locations in the world because they've been delivered there safely by a Super Servant. This is the head office of Weismuller Transport near the Dutch capital of Amsterdam. From here, an experienced and hard-working staff manage all the activities. But what are all these specialists needed for? Before a transport operation could be carried out, homework has to be done. In close consultation with the client, specialists of Weismuller plan all the details, taking into consideration the features and characteristics of the cargo, as well as the route to be taken. The company has developed their own set of computer programs. These provide a sound body of information for the planning and optimal execution of any specific transport assignment. All this work results in a comprehensive transport manual. Once the office work has been completed, the crew get down to the heavy stuff. A cribbing and other preparations have to be built on the deck of the submersible vessel in order to ensure that the cargo has a safe voyage. As well as wooden cribbing needed to prevent any damage to the cargo, Sometimes the vessel itself has to be adapted to make it possible to carry a special load. These adaptions can include deck recesses to accommodate protruding parts, or sponsoons on the sides of the carrier for extra stability or support. Dedicated crews run the fleet of Weismuller Transport. They make sure the ship is in optimal condition. By the way, one of the great advantages of transport by a super or mighty servant over other transportation methods is the safety factor. Accident analysis show that the risk of a loss aboard a towed transport is about 20 times higher than that with a self-propelled transport. And this has resulted in a much lower insurance premiums for transportation aboard a servant. Knowing that some cargoes are worth millions, drilling rigs even hundreds of millions, that can make a nice difference. This unique transportation method is offered by Weismuller Transport on a worldwide scale to a wide variety of industries. And now, hundreds of successfully completed transport assignments prove that contracting Weismuller Transport is always a wise move.
Well, perhaps you think you've seen everything now, but Wise Muller Transport is an active company, and we regularly record new and interesting projects. We're always happy to help you keep up with the time.